Hello everyone, and welcome to another Bringing Out the Knack tutorial. Um, today we're going to be doing a login, register, and well, yeah, login and register using uh, PHP. Um, to start, the very first step would be to get yourself a text editor. I'm using Notepad Plus Plus. There are many types: there's Dreamweaver, pff, Eclipse. Uh, you can just use normal notepad if you're, you know, sort of new to it all. But this is good because, you know, you have the line numbers nicely down the side. Now, um, I'm just going to... Alright, let's start by saying you're going to need a WAMP server, or some form of server. I don't know whether there's more. Any other types is the only one I'm familiar with. Um, basically, I'll put a download in the description. Um, you need to download and make sure you do all the config and stuff. I may do a tutorial on how to set it up and all that anyways. For now we need, because we're going to need the PHP my admin and the PHP part. And then if you're doing a website in general you're going to need to host it and this is what you use to host it. So, for now, uh, we have to make sure that we well, first of all, we're going to have to make our database. So, what we'll do, go to uh, localhost. This will probably just... Oh, okay. And then, you're going to have to go to your PHP MyAdmin. Now, this is the software that runs your database and stores it and stuff on your computer. So, uh, this comes with WAMP. So, after you've configured WAMP and everything, um, come to this, and then we're going to make a new database. I'm going to call mine bring out the neck. Bringing out the neck. Um, yeah, just leave everything now is. Say create. Bringing out the neck has been created. Now we're going to need um, a table. Now this table can be, let's just say, users now and we're going to need a full name, username, password, full name, username, password, three, I think, oh, an ID, so four, so for them, okay, first field is ID, uh, we always keep an ID, it's just so that everybody is different, even if they have the same, well, I think they'll always have different usernames, I don't know, you just, it's just the way it is, you just make it so that, you know. No, that shouldn't be username. And then we're going to do full name. Oh, and uh, on ID, we're going to have to click this auto increment. And it's leave it as integer. Just make sure that auto increment's ticked, because that means it will go up on its own. And you don't have to like put one, then two, then three for each user. Uh, next will be full name. Let's just keep that as a varchar. Uh, username, which will also be a varchar. And password which will make a varchar. Um, we're going to have to put the length in. Don't worry about ID because it doesn't really matter. Full name, let's do 50. If you have a full name longer than 50, then pff, good luck with you. Uh, password, yeah, let's just do 50. 50 for each is about right. Um, okay, that's it. Make sure you don't hit go, hit save. So save. Now we have our table, ID, full name, username, password. Okay, now what we can do, we have to connect to our database so that um, so that we can, you know, we have to be able to connect so that it can look into the database, see the username and password, and then when you connect it has to be the same, otherwise obviously you won't connect, really. So what we'll do, we'll do our database connection. So let's start with PHP tags. So that's that. Um, those are our PHP tags. Now we're gonna have to. Um, we're gonna want to connect to the database. So we'll start by making some variables. So to make a variable, you dollar variables sort of like. If I, well, variables sort of like um, something which you can recall to later. So, for example, x or y when in maths, you know, something that has a value 
but it's easier to say um, x or y instead. So we're going to say mysql underscore uh, hostname. So this is the the well hostname for the um, to where the host is, so where where the database is really kept. So basically, if it's on your computer, you can just do localhost. But the way we write localhost is one two seven point zero point zero point one. That's sort of your localhost IP. Uh, make sure you end each line with a semicolon. That is very important. Um, okay. You may notice these aren't particularly helping. They're not becoming coloured or anything. So what you'll do um, when you get WAMP, you get given this folder called the www folder. Now, in that, you're going to have to put this because your browser can't run PHP on its own. It has to be through like WAMP that, that lets the PHP run. You can run HTML on its own, but it can't run PHP. So WAMP lets it makes it run PHP, and then we can uh, so that we can view it. So with this login register, now we're going to put this in, and we'll call it db.php, and we'll make it all files types. Okay. So now we've got our PHP folder, and there we and see it's gone nicely coloured. That's how it should be. Um, MySQL hostname, blah 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 blah. Okay. That's the hostname. So we know where, the, so it knows where it's going to connect. Um, basically, now all we have to do is do the username. So uh, MySQL, same again, underscore username. Um, this will equal whatever you've set your username as. Uh, defaultly, it's root, and that's what mine still is. Um, on your PHP My Admin, this is. So when you log into PHP My Admin, wherever you put his username, that's what you need to put in there. You're pretty much making a script to log in for you and then find loads of stuff for you. So it like logs in, finds out what things are, and then you can refer to them later. So now we're doing uh, the password. Um, we need to say what our password is. Um, I don't care that you know what mine is really because it's it's on my computer you can't really do anything <laughs> so uh, just put in whatever your password is um, and now finally we need to say what the date we need to do our database variable so um, this will tell it what database to look up and we'll know um, you know so my database was bring oh wrong bringing out the neck. Um, always remember your double quotes and remember semicolons as well. Okay, now we need to show we need one more which will actually physically connect. So we'll call it DB and it will be uh, so this will be um, MySQL underscore connect uh, okay we can need brackets and then okay so now the first bit is um, what where the host name is so we've already made the host name so we could have done it a different way but it's better and more organized to do in variables so if we do now basically when you say MySQL connect that's it connecting so when so it looks at this it's sort of like a function. When it looks at after it looks at this, it then knows um, it then knows what you know. It knows that the first one's going to be the host name. So whenever when it gets a question for host name, it puts that as host name. When it gets a question for a password, it knows to do the second one. Uh, um, when it gets a question for username, it knows to do the second one. So the second one is username. Um, these should all be comma separated, but you have to do comma and then space, so not just a comma. It varies. Things like that vary. Um, vary per uh, per coding language, but it's just you know the syntax that there is. Um, uh, this will be password, and then that's that. Okay. 
now we have our variables variables so now we need to say that if it couldn't do that we need to tell it to sort of stop what it's doing and give us an error message because otherwise we can have problems really so we'll say all die and then we say I don't know something went wrong or something is broken remember um, when you put things in quotation marks that proves it's text so you know the all die bit will stop the page or kill the page and then make it it will kill the page and then make it say that instead basically so that you know we have to have that really and now we are going to have um, it needs to we need to get the actual database because we haven't done that yet we've, we've used up the variable hostname username and password but we haven't actually used the uh, database username um, variable so what we're going to do is we're going to go into MySQL again and we're going to select and we're going to select the data a database so then we say now we say the first one um, will be the database that it selects so we need to say we need to say oh remember that you have to refer to the variable you know as with a dollar and then we need to, so we need to say what database to get and we've said that in that variable up there and then we need to say which um, Oh, and then we need to say how to connect, which is that. And then we also, we might as well do another die. Or die. Um, couldn't find database. And that's pretty much it. We have some extra space. And that's it for our, um, our database connect. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll tell you how to log in. Uh, I had to register. We'll do register next. So, wait. Um, see you then.